Many Christians think practicing yoga is a good thing. There are many churches that have classes teaching their members about yoga without having a clear understanding of what yoga is and where the yoga come from. The word yoga means to be yoked with the universe and the hand of gods. God told us not to worship any other god, and if we do, we will pay the consequences for our actions. In Exodus 20 verse 3, the Bible says, You shall have no other gods before me. And in Exodus 20 verse 5, the Bible tells us, You shall not bow down to them or worship them, or I the Lord your God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers and their children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. As you can see, God said he will visit your iniquities to the third and fourth generations. If you have practiced yoga or Tai Chi exercises, transcendental meditation, Hindu, Taoism, Shinto, Buddhism, or occultic meditation or chants, any prama breathing, any of the other martial arts, all of which are based on Hinduism, Taoism, and other occultism. The Bible strictly forbids Christians from engaging in elements of other religions, in this case Hinduism. We are called to avoid pagan methods of attaining peace and tranquility, and instead undergo the new birth which give us a completely new outlook on life. Romans 12 verse 2 The Bible tells us, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Incorporating yoga and martial arts element in your life will lead to spiritual downfall because of disobedience to God's word which is explicit about detesting other gods and worship related to them. Many Christians today think they can remove the yoga Hindu spirituality and replace it with the Christian spirituality. In fact, the so-called holy yoga is not practiced in dozens of churches nationwide. Yoga separates you from Jesus and opens up your body to evil influences and spiritual attacks. If you are a Christian, you belong to Jesus who paid the ultimate price for you. And therefore, yoga and any practice associated with other religions is not for you. Tonight we are going to pray, a very powerful prayer to break the yoke of yoga and martial arts over your life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Creator of heaven and earth, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, and through His shed blood. I ask you for your protection as I pray the following prayer tonight. I come as a sinner, seeking forgiveness and cleansing from all sins committed against you and others made in your image by myself and my ancestors. Please protect me and those whom I love. Holy Father, in the name of the true Lord Jesus Christ, in accordance with Jude 8 verse 10, I request you to move aside all celestial beings including principalities, powers, and rulers, and to forbid them to harass, intimidate, or retaliate against me and all participants in this ministry today. I also ask you to prevent these beings of whatever rank to not be permitted to send any level of spiritual evil as retaliation against any of those here, or our families, our ministries, or our possessions. I believe in my heart that God the Father raised his son Jesus from death after Jesus had paid for my sins on the cross at Calvary once and for all. Jesus Christ is therefore my Lord, my Savior, my Master, and my Deliverer. I choose to honor my earthly father and mother and all my ancestors of flesh and blood and of the Spirit by adoption and God parents, but I turn away from and renounce of all their sins and iniquities. I forgive all my ancestors for the effects of their sins and iniquities on me and my children. I confess and renounce all of my own sins. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I turn and renounce the denial of any of my ancestors of the gospel of Jesus Christ and of Jesus' work on the cross of Calvary. I turn from and renounce Satan and all his works and every spiritual power or force of his affecting me or my family in Jesus' mighty name. I turn and renounce the worship of all false gods on the basis of your word recorded in Exodus 20 verse 3, which states, Thou shalt have no other gods before me, and I declare aloud that Jesus Christ is my Lord. I turn from and renounce of all occultic aspects and influences brought upon me by my ancestors, acknowledgement of Hindu, Taoism, and other occultic myths and legends. 
I turn from and renounce all divination and witchcraft as an abomination to God in accordance to Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 16. I renounce all involvement in idolatry by myself, my parents, and all my ancestors. I especially renounce the false god and goddesses of Brahma, Shiva, Vishnu, Durga, Kali, and all the other idols. I will destroy any object in my possession which connect me with idolatry, witchcraft, and the occult, including object worn as jewelry for good luck or protection in all other superstition, and I will not keep or give away any precious metal from them. I renounce the wearing of fetishes and of their effects. I renounce all superstitious fear that held me and my ancestors in idolatry and witchcraft, especially fear of death, fear of spirits, fear of men, and fear of trusting in Jesus' name. I renounce calling Brahma, Krishna, Buddha, or any other false god by the title of Lord as Jesus Christ alone is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I renounce the idolatry practice of tattooing of the flesh, especially forbidden by God as the cutting of the flesh, both as a practitioner and as a recipient in the associated occultic demonic aspects. I renounce the pride which you have led my ancestors into tattooed or having their flesh cut or pierced. I renounce the wearing of the Kali dot in the center of the forehead known as the third high or brow chakra in occult groups and I rebuke and reject every spirit of divination or false spiritual insight which empowered it. I reject, I break and renounce all agreement previously given by myself or my ancestors to be deceived by evil spirits. I renounce all other witchcraft ritual and all curses spoken by me or my ancestors. I renounce all talking to the dead and consulting with the dead, which is described as the sin of necromancy in Deuteronomy 18 verse 11. And I renounce the kissing of the dead loved ones and any evil spirit that is transferred to me from this practice. I renounce all guidance by familiar or familiar spirits, especially the spirit posing as spirits of ancestors. I renounce all songs involving the calling of spirits and other than the Holy Spirit of God. I will listen to no other spirit than the spirit of my Lord Jesus Christ. I renounce the following of any guru by me or my ancestors, whether as a devotee or out of curiosity. I renounce the burning of eastern incense because God said in Isaiah 66 verse 3, He that burns incense is as if he bless an idol or false god. I renounce the false teachings of the Vedas, of the Upanishads, and the Hindu or Buddhist priests or gurus. I also renounce the teaching of Yogi, Sacha, and all other gurus. I renounce the taking revenge on people and the associate guidance of demonic powers and their participation in such practices. I renounce the entrapping of others and observing the helplessness of captives taking in revenge raids. I renounce the practice of becoming a warrior and subsequent dedication to any war god idol and all associated custom and practices. I renounce the enjoyment of fighting, aggression, and violence of all martial arts of every kind and form. I renounce all war dances and challenges which inspire fear in others. I renounce the ritual murders or sacrifices of captives and the fear of violent attack or assault and the fear of revenge. I renounce the practice of human sacrifice to idols. I renounce the practice of engraving or carving an image of false god on talisman, bracelet, or other items of superstitions and lucky charms. I renounce all customs associated with the non-eating of certain food unless they have first been offered to idols, including vegetarianism. I renounce all witchcraft or occult activity regarding the asking to those demonic powers to protect a war party and to bring it to success. I renounce the use of the fighting weapons and the associated occult practices and carving and grave on these. I renounce all fascination with snakes and serpents and the seed of that old serpent, the devil. I renounce all carved items worn and used as lucky charms. I renounce all occultic dreams and demonic guidance given by evil spirits. I renounce the belief in spirits dwelling on the rivers, sea, and harbors. I renounce the chanted prayers to idols to make the crops grow well and the offering of food to idols before eating. 
I renounce every position held by my ancestors, whether guru, teachers, or priests who practice witchcraft. I specifically renounce any love portion in power or greed associated with the pride of disposition. I renounce the calling of any man guru or master, for Jesus Christ is my only master and Lord. I renounce all yoga pastures and believe especially the serpent pasture, the cobra pasture, the lotus pasture, the elephant pasture, especially the mood swing and arguments it cause. I also renounce the Buddha pasture and the hip, knee, and obesity problem it cause. I also renounce the Hanuman, the three little monkey pasture of hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil, and the spirit of divination associated with them, and the sexual problem it cause. And I will renounce all others by name as I remember them. I renounce all prana breathing exercises, I renounce all confusion and depression in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I renounce all false peace associated with Hinduism, Taoism, and their practices. I renounce all fear of insanity, anguish, and death wish, suicide, death in the name of Jesus Christ. He alone conquered death and holds the key of death. I renounce all emotional and sexual bondages related to these practices. I renounce all anger, hating anger, hatred murderous thoughts, revenge, and retaliation. I renounce all unbelief, especially unbelief in the Holy Bible as God's words and compromise of God's word. I renounce treating God's word as equal or less valued than the books of false religions. I renounce those aspects of the Vedas and other so-called holy books that are not acceptable to God. I renounce all sickness and infirmity resulting from any of the above practices from which I have repented now. I renounce and forsake all involvement in all form of sorcery, divination, astrology in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Father God, to effectively nail to the cross of Jesus all records and laws written against me. Holy Spirit, I ask that you show me anything else that I need to do or pray in order to be free of the consequences of these sins. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I now rebuke all evil curses, breaking their power, and I loose myself and my children from them. All inherited or ancestral curses, curses from others, all evil words spoken by my parents, my teachers, all friends, relatives, any spouses, all witchcraft or voodoo assignments, and all curses stemming from my culture. I now break the power of all charms, of all hexes, spells, psychic powers, bewitchment, witchcraft, sorcery, incantation, impartations, or assignments that have been put upon me or my family line from any person or group, living or dead, or from any occultic or psychic sources, including any familiar spirit assigned to me by Satan at my birth. I rebuke all connected and related spirit and command this to leave me now in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I break every remaining soul tie that is ungodly with persons or groups in my past in the name of Jesus. I renounce the ungodly soul tie with any occult group with whom led me into the occultism of martial arts, Tai Chi, transcendental meditation, yoga, alternative health, therapies, astrology, sorcery, and divinations. And with anyone that I had any sinful sexual relation with, any fornication, adultery, bestiality, homosexuality, and also with any person whose blood was transfused or organ was transplanted into me. I renounce all of these and any other ungodly soul ties, and I commend the spirit of all these soul ties to leave me now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I gather those ungodly soul ties together now and cut them through with the sword of the Spirit of God. I now ask my Heavenly Father to reaffirm the godly soul tie that I have with my spouse my children, and with members of the body of Christ. Dear Father, I ask humbly for the blood of Jesus Christ, your Son, to cleanse me from all these sins I have confessed and renounced, to cleanse my spirit, my soul, my mind, my emotions, and every part of my body which has been affected by these sins in Jesus' mighty name. I renounce every evil spirit associated with all these areas and all other sins, and I command in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ for every evil spirit to be bound and to leave me now, harmlessly and by natural breathing, and go to the place appointed for you by the Lord Jesus Christ. 
never to return to me or my family. I call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to be delivered of these spirits in accordance with the many promises of the Bible. I ask to be delivered of every spirit of sickness, infirmity, curses, affliction, addiction, disease, or allergies associated with these sins. I have confessed and renounced. I surrender to God, Holy Spirit, and to no other spirit, all the places in my life where these sins have been. I ask you, Lord, to fill me with your Holy Spirit now, according to the promise in your word. I take to myself the whole armor of God in accordance with Ephesians chapter 6, and rejoice in his protection as Jesus surrounds me and fills me with his Holy Spirit. I enthrone you, Lord Jesus, in my heart, for you are my Lord and my Savior, the source of eternal life. I thank you, Father God, for your mercy, your forgiveness, and your love. In the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I pray tonight. Amen.